Yo, 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 I am Weskimo. What is going on? This is my beginner's guide to Fortnite. So I'm a champion player on EU right now, and we go through all the ways that I practice and the best ways to improve throughout a series of videos. So hit that subscribe button and let's get on with this first episode of Beginner's Guide. Okay, guys, so I just want to really go over the keybinds really quickly because this is super important, okay? So as you can see, my keybinds are on numbers, okay? But that's because if you look at my mouse, I have numbers on my mouse button like this. If you can see these, these are numbers here, okay? So I use my mouse button for building. Now, I know a lot of people don't have that. So what I'm going to recommend is if you look around W, A, S, and D, which is your movement buttons on the keyboard, uh, keys around there are things like Q, E, R, T, F. V, C, X, Z. These are really good buttons to put building on, okay? So you wanna put building on, which is these ones, wall, floor, stairs, roof. You wanna put these on things around your movement keys, okay? The other thing you wanna do is your building edit, okay? Building edit, you want this on something that's really easy to press, something like E, F, C, something that's really easy to click on because you're gonna edit a lot of the time in this game, okay? And the, the other binding I want you to put down right now is secondary binding. So we can see here, you can have a secondary binding for each one. So we're going to put mouse wheel scroll down for edit and reset building edit also on scroll down mouse wheel. And right now this might be a bit confusing for you, but just set this up and this is going to help you so, so much when you get a little bit better at the game and you start to pro progress, okay? Okay, I just also wanted to quickly go over, so uh, game settings. So if we go up to settings here, this cog, okay, you want to scroll down to building okay and you just want to set this up like mine is here so you want to disable pre-edit because we're never going to use that we want turbo building on and we want confirm edit on release on as well okay these two are going to make the game so much easier to play okay and uh, just going back quickly to keybinds uh, if you just want to look at this i uh, i use some of these keys that i recommend for building for my weapon slots so you can use them on numbers or you can use them on things around w a s and d as well okay so let's jump right into actual playing the game and building now okay so when we want to get better at fortnite we want to use the creative game mode as much as possible okay so playing fortnite and learning fortnite is kind of like learning piano okay you're gonna build up muscle memory over time doing routines and eventually you'll be able to play very fluidly and solidly okay so what we want to do is we want to come here to the pick a place we're gonna pick a place to play sorry and you're not gonna pick any of the top ones you're gonna come over here you're gonna click creative okay we're gonna click accept we're gonna click play this is where you're gonna learn to play the game and this is gonna help you so so much playing creative okay so if this is if this is the first time that you play in your map you want to come over here to discover okay and you come here on the left to island code okay and in here, you're going to put in a code that I'm about to give you now. I'm going to put it on the screen right now, okay? So it's this is for Raiders uh, Box Fight Practice Map V2. And this is going to be where we're going to start off learning the game, okay? So we're going to put that code in here right now. I've already got mine set up. So once you've already put the code in, once you go here to My Games in the future, yeah? And uh, you have it saved here, and it'll be in your recent islands. And you can favorite them, put them in favorites. You can see... I have so many practice maps, okay? I use all of these practice maps regularly to, to improve my gameplay, okay? For now, we're just going to use this one at the top, okay? So the code is 7562-1598-0199, okay? It's really simple. You just put that into the discover where I just showed you, and we're going to click launch. Okay, so when we get into the map, we're going to land here, and I always like to just grab a shotgun and then come over here and grab a rifle, okay? So there's loads of things to do on this map. It's great practice for editing. I use this map all the time. I do all of these exercises regularly. But for now, as this is a beginner's guide, we're gonna go right to the very beginning, okay? So the first thing I want you to master on this game is to learn a protected ramp. All right, so I'm just gonna demonstrate this really quickly. I'll do it very slow. So what, what a protected ramp is, it's a floor, a wall, and a ramp like this. And we're gonna continue up like this, okay? Floor, wall, ramp floor wall ramp and to do this we're going to look down for the floor look down slightly look up to the middle build the build the wall and the ramp so floor wall ramp okay so why 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 is this important well let's just look at this compared to some other examples okay so let's just do a normal ramp okay and let's do a ramp that i see a lot of uh, beginner players do which is wall and uh, a ramp like this, okay. Now let's look at the difference between these ramps. 
This one is the weakest because if we just shoot one layer, it falls. This is a bit better because if someone's trying to shoot from here, you know, if you shoot these walls, it protects the ramp. But pretty much at any point, if you were to shoot the ramp, the whole thing is going to fall. With the protected ramp here, As you can see, no matter which type of layer I chose to delete there, the whole building still stands, okay? I took away a ramp, I took away a wall, I took away a floor, and the ramp still up. So no matter what, you have to take away two layers to destroy this. And this is what's so, so important moving forward, okay? So this is what we want to practice. I'll go over this just one more time here, and then we'll move on to the next thing, okay? Because you want to get this down, and this will take you a while. You might fuck this up, you might not be able to do this fast enough, and it's muscle memory, and you've got to practice this over time. But I'm telling you, if you practice every day, within a few days, you'll easily get this down, okay? So it's floor, wall, ramp, okay? Floor, wall, ramp. A floor, you want to maybe look down a little bit, then you just want to aim in for the middle for the rest, okay? So floor, wall, ramp, floor, wall, ramp, floor, wall, ramp, okay? So that's what we want to master first. And once you've mastered this, you can let's move on to the next uh, thing in this beginner's guide, okay? Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys after you've managed to learn the protected ramp is the 90, okay? This is a really famous move. It's been around for a long time, something that lots of people do, and it's just a really amazing technique to use in-game to get high over your opponent, okay? So what we want to do to do a 90, and this is a, a, a move to get you up in the air to elevate you layers above your opponent as quick as possible, okay? So you're going to place a ramp, yep, yeah, you're going to walk up to it, you're going to get your wall out, you're going to spin like this, okay? You're going to walk up, you're going to spin again, and you're going to jump and place a ramp, okay? And we're just going to keep going up like this. Can you see how I, I just got, got up quite a few layers very quickly doing this, and it's protected because of the way that we're, we're using the walls. So if someone starts to shoot you out, the walls are going to help protect you here, okay? So we want to do the walls first, we get to the top of the ramp, jump, and we're just going to keep going up like this. And you can basically just keep going up forever, you can branch off, you can then go into your protected ramp like this, then you can go up again. And this is just like a really amazing building technique that's just a core solid fundamental, okay? So you learn this, this is going to help you so, so much in the game. Let's go back, I'll start from the beginning, down here, so it's going to be a ramp, two walls, and then we're going to start with the walls first after that. I'm just going to go up like this, okay? So just keep practicing this, get this down, and uh, this is gonna help you so, so much. Okay, the next thing I wanna show is something that's really important when you're doing ranked games, when you're doing competitive games, and it's just really important to get down at the beginning and learn this from the start. And uh, this is the full box, okay? So what this is, is we're just gonna box up like this. So you can do this in many ways, but the idea is to build a box around yourself like this, and you want a cone on the roof and a cone on the floor, okay? This is called a full box and this is a very safe way to sit. Why is this safe? Because you own, oh, sorry, excuse me. You own all the walls here, okay? So you can edit any single wall. If someone comes this way, you can edit out the back. If someone comes this way, you can edit out this way. You can also edit the ramp like this, edit the ceiling, and then you can sit and in the cone like this and look out. And now you can see people outside, but they can't see you, they only see the cone, okay? You can also, as you get a bit better at the game, come and stand on top of the cone like this. Edit the, the floor piece above you so that it just shows one. And you can jump up and you can even sit in the cone itself like this. And you can look out at everybody and all they see is a box with a cone. So, sitting in a box is something that mainly people do at higher ranks and in competitive play. But I feel like just learning this technique very early on is, is a great start to the game and always gives you that chance to protect yourself. So you need to take a potion, you need to take a med kit, you need to give ammo to your friend, you need to just go to the toilet a second, you know, sit in a box, keep yourself protected. If you're in a box, people can't shoot you without you knowing about it. They're gonna shoot the wall first and it gives you that heads up to say, hey, someone's shooting me from this direction, now I need to react. And it gives you that extra few seconds to react without you getting hit. Okay, so before we move on to the other things to practice, I just really quickly wanted to just cover what this map is about, really, because I, I didn't really go around it much. Uh, we've just been using it to build, because I use it to build and free build all the time to practice, because it's such a nice green flat space. You've got weapons here, uh, and you've got all these other exercises around you that you can just go into at, at leisure, okay? So in front of you off spawn, there's just edit exercises. 
to the right here's more complex edit exercises uh, over there some resets i don't really use the resets that much uh, and here's some boxes with bots inside that you can edit on uh, behind us here is a edit course with uh, targets inside over there is some more edits with targets inside uh, this is a really good way to learn mongrel classic replay so i'll cover this in a, in a more advanced video so don't worry about that for now uh, and there's just some more exercises over there so i'll just quickly show you like what what this map is about really um just very quickly just show you like what you meant to do so it's like edit course here so you just meant to like edit up okay so you just go all the way up there stuff like that and the same on the other side with targets on so you can just practice and learn edits on this map and this will be used all the way up to being a champion player and beyond i use this still every single day this is my go-to i come in here to free build i come in here to practice and warm up so yeah i just wanted to show you like the rest of the map a little bit and just talk about it okay because this is something you're going to use for basically the rest of your fortnite career okay so the next really really important thing you need to do when learning the game is we're going to go back here we're going to go to creative again and i'm going to show you a second map okay there's only two maps in this video please don't panic thinking oh i can't deal with all these maps that Wesky was asking me to do i just wanted to learn the game and get better and i'm putting all these codes in wait okay, please calm down don't panic all right i'm just going to go here we're going to click discover again yeah we're going to go island code and we're just going to enter a code all of these codes are going to be in the description down below okay so just look in the description i'm putting it on the screen now as well so the code that you need for this next map okay uh, mine's already done in favorites so i'm just going to come here and it's called mechanics training map 4.6.4 okay this is the island code 25231902 okay and this is the, the only two maps I want you to download for this video. And these two maps are going to help so, so much. Please believe me when I say these are going to help so, so much, okay? Okay, guys, so we're here in the mechanics training map. And there's two exercises here that are so, so core and fundamental for beginners. And are going to improve your gameplay so much, okay? The first one is this one called edit timing, okay? So you're going to just pull out your rifle, shoot on the ball, and you'll be teleported into the exercise, okay? This may not look it, but it's the most important exercise for learning to edit and to edit fast and become really fast at the game, okay? So all this exercise is, is it's floors stacked on top of each other. And the idea is to edit through them, okay? Like this. Now the aim of this, if you see when we edit, if you click, when I click E for edit, uh, the edit turns blue and then we click on the piece we want and it turns gray, okay? See when I click, it turns gray like this. What we want to do is we want to edit through floors without seeing blue. We want to see as little blue as possible. We just want to see gray, okay? So that's what this exercise is for. You can hold it like this. This is fine. What we're learning is the timing between our two hands so that one hand can press the edit and the other one can confirm the edit instantly, like as fast as possible. And this is what people do when you see people editing super quick on montages or pro players. This is the idea behind what they're doing is that they're able to edit so quickly because they don't see blue They quickly uh, coordinate both hands to edit through the the builds fast Okay, so you can do singles like this and you can hold it on gray like this The idea is that you you get this down where you don't see the blue rather than you don't want to just sit and you can just sit and spam like this Yeah, but it's not as productive as just actually just seeing gray like this Okay, if you look at the wall behind you there's lines so you can tell how far you're going down Sometimes I do combos, so I'll do like, I'll do say, let's do three really quickly. Okay, or let's do two pieces like this. Or let's do three pieces like this. And all you want to do is you want to come here every single day. I do this every single day, okay? And you just want to edit all the way to the bottom. Now, there's a few good few hundred pieces here. You can see we've already come quite far down, and this is only about... Mm, a fifth of the way it goes down uh, quite a bit far further on than this but every day you want to go through this and you want to get to the bottom believe me this looks a bit pointless it looks a bit oh what oh, why would i do this this is absolutely core and key to get better at the game you will improve so so much if you do this every day even for just a few days okay your editing will become so fast and amazing it's absolutely the best practice for learning how to edit especially at the start and as a new player, if you get into this quickly and you get into learning this quickly, it's going to rocket your skill level up incredibly quick, okay? All right, I'm going to show you guys the other exercise now on this map that is really important to do. 
Okay, so we're back here in the hub. If you ever want to get out of an exercise, you can just do the a dance move and it will teleport you back to this hub here. Um, with that edit timing, please finish the whole thing every day. It'll only take you five, 10 minutes. It might seem long while you're doing it and it might be boring. 10 minutes, you'll easily get through that every single day. It will help you so much. The next thing is crosshair training. Okay, so we're gonna just run through this portal. It has a little instructions here. You can read this if you want. The basics is that the red lines and circles are, are what's called the optimal edit. So like the perfect edit to do this edit, okay? And what this is gonna do, this is gonna teach you the edits and it's gonna teach you properly the edits, okay? Because a lot of people, for example, they might go, oh, let's do uh, this circle edit, which is recommended. And they might go like this, see my mouse? Um, I'm doing like a big circle like this. That That's kind of bad because you actually only need to do this little circle here like this along the red line. And the little circle is way faster to do than a big circle. So what we have here is we have different edits. So we've got like this, the, the big pieces here. You've got these uh, corner edits like this. You've got these edits over here to the side, which are just like the top one. Uh, this one, I never really use this one to be honest, but it's still here anyway. And what the idea is, is you just come in here and you want to sit here for a few minutes at a time. I normally do two minutes. So for example, I shoot this, so it's a two minute timer and I do two minutes on each one. And you want to move about and you just want to keep your mouse following the red circle. Maybe you won't do it as fast as me when you start because I've been doing this quite a long time. And then you just want to do this till this runs out and you want to do two minutes on each one of these edits here. Uh, and this is just going to make you so much better at the game. You're just going to learn edits pro properly, even like the corner one. Okay. A lot of people, they might edit like this up to the side. Look how easy this is. If we follow the red line, look how fast and smooth this is. So what you want to do is you just want to sit here and you want to do two minutes of each of these edits. Okay. You want to do this every day combined with the rest of the exercises and practice that I've been talking about. Okay, as with uh, the other map, I'll just quickly tell you what the other exercises are on here. There's a free build option. You can free build on here and practice. That's kind of good. I, pr I prefer to free build on the other map that I showed you because you can do exercises midway and it's more of an open space. Uh, then you've got these piece control edit drills, which are going to be good, but they might be a bit difficult for a beginner, but definitely you can work through them. Uh, the tunnels are the hardest things to do um, and we'll be doing a lot of things like uh, peace control tunnel exercises in the intermediate video which will be the next video that i put out on the channel okay because we're doing a series right now this is episode one of the series okay um so yeah basically uh, edit drills kind of just like a course like this and you you're just meant to like edit your way through them when you're doing these edit drills i just quickly put this in the video uh, you want to it doesn't matter how fast you get through the course but each individual edit you want to try and do as quickly and as smoothly as possible. Uh, and this way it's going to improve your speed over time. So yeah, you don't, you don't need to go through much of these at the moment for the beginner's guide. Just practice the things that I've really gone over in this video, which is the three building techniques, which is protected ramp, the nine tier, full boxing yourself, and then the things on the mechanics training map that we've just gone over, which were the edit timing, and the crosshair placement for edits okay and with that you're going to easily increase your skill level and you're going to be at that intermediate level and ready to learn what i'm about to put out in the next video okay okay guys that is it for this video as i said this is a series so please subscribe please follow i'm going to bring out intermediate guide i'm going to bring out shooting and aim guide i'm going to bring out advanced guide build guide uh, ranked guide for arena competitive guides i'm going to be bringing out so so much content so please follow please subscribe i will see you guys in the next video and i hope this has helped you guys improve your gameplay peace